Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I am going to show you all how you can improve your FPS, fix performance drops and input latency in Indiana Jones to get extra performance and make it work on low end PCs. I hope this guide helps you out as it is going to work for both Windows 10 and 11. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your keyboard and then head over to gaming. Game bar is what you're looking for and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to improve your PC's performance by turning things off in the background which will reduce your memory and CPU consumption. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to improve your PC's performance. Right between that you'll find graphic settings, simply click on that and then go over to change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as it will help you to reduce your input latency and utilize your GPU to render the games. After that, I want you all to go down to Windows Update and make sure that you're always up to date with the Windows version. If not, go ahead and do that because Windows keeps on fixing bugs which will help you to improve your PC's performance. Now before we move ahead, a really effective way to improve your PC's performance is having free space on your local disk C and installing your games and your operating system in an SSD as they are generally faster and more responsive. I collaborated with 4D DIG Partition Master, a really handy and portable tool that offers you to manage your partition and migrate your operating system from your hard disk to an SSD without any corruption. It is free to download for Windows and other operating system. And here is how it looks like. You are only a few clicks away from the task like migrating your operating system. Simply click on the start button over here and it will auto detect your OS. You just have to click the new disk that you want your OS to be migrated to and simply click on start. And in a few moments, your PC will boot up faster. You can also play along with the partition size if you want to allocate more space to your local disk C to ensure your PC keeps on performing better. You can check out 4D DIG Partition Master for yourself and try out more amazing features by downloading the application from the link in the description below. Step number two is disabling background applications. And Windows 10 has a traditional option to disable background apps from settings. But if you are on Windows 11, search for Local Group Policy Editor. You'll find something called Edit Group Policy. Simply click on that. And this option will only be available for Windows Pro users. So if you guys are not a Windows Pro user, sadly, you have to skip this step. In computer configuration, you'll find administrative templates. Here you have to go to Windows Components, App Privacy, and here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. What you have to do is double click to open it up and then set it to enabled. After that, set default for all applications to force deny and then click on OK. This will help you to apply the policy that will disable all applications running in the background. Step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then scroll a bit down until you find the local disk C. Click on create and name it Indiana just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is Indiana Jones FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in seven simple folders and don't worry because I'm going to be going through all of them one by one. Firstly, you have to go for CPU priority. Simply click on it and then you'll find AMD and Intel CPU folders right over here. If you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. This will change a few registries on your PC that you can edit in notepad and see. Do not worry, it is just some game priority and SFIO priority and it's not going to damage anything. You guys can simply double click to run it. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click on the Intel CPU priority. Second folder is for your RAM and this will help you to set up the correct D word for your RAM. Once again, you guys can look up for system information on your PC. So simply search for system information and then you'll find install physical memory over here. It is 32 GB for me. So I have to apply 32 GB RAM registry. Could be different for you. So I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default over here. Third folder is the most important one and this is probably one that you should not skip. This is Indiana Jones priority and here I have left above normal and high priority. Once again, if you guys are not sure which one to run, leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here. 
Fourth folder is the PC optimization in which I have left BC tweaks, memory compression disabling, and process mitigation disabling. These are some batch files that you guys have to right click and run this as administrator. I have already done it, so you guys can see what other things that it is going to change by editing it in Notepad. It is going to run a few commands on your PC that will help you to reduce your input latency. Memory compression will help you to reduce the load on your CPU and your RAM and disable some unwanted services that are not utilized whenever you're playing the games. And lastly is disable process mitigation. This will help you to share the load of your CPU and help you to improve your PC's performance. Fifth folder is a power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. Right click and run this as administrator. I have already done that. Head over to power plans next and you'll find in preferred plans right over here. In this you'll find ultimate performance or if not head over to hide additional plans and you will see a ultimate performance plan right over here. Simply select that and close it. Sixth folder is disabling unwanted service and this is an optional step you guys can skip it completely but i would recommend you guys to do all of them for maximum performance once again it helps you to disable some services that your pc do not regularly use such as bluetooth core parking background maps manager and a lot more over here simply double click and run every single one of them however if you use any bluetooth device or printers do not disable these two because this may disable your service once again if you want to revert any of them back to normal you can use the revert folder to do them seventh folder is the useful programs in which i have left three simple programs let's start with the first one that is clean temporary files right click and run it as administrator this will simply ask you to press any key to continue deleting your temporary files from your pc simply do that and it will start deleting all of the temporary files don't worry it is completely safe to do so these are just dumb files created by the program that are no longer in use next is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run this as administrator this program will help us to set the correct interrupt priority for our graphic card to ensure that it is performing better. Once again, you have to look for your graphic card over here and then click on the MSI button in front of it. After that, for the interrupt priority, set that thing to high and then click on apply. It will set up the correct SFIO priority for your graphic card and help you to improve the PC's performance and GPU's performance. Last and not the least is the Unpark CPU.exe. It is a super useful application. Simply double click to open it up. Over here, you guys can see enabled cores and parked cores. Windows by default has this feature. It disables unused cores on your CPU and that may lead to performance issues. While you're playing your games, you always want all of the cores to be enabled to ensure the power throttle and your CPU's performance is up to the mark. And for that, I want you guys to slide the core parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. Then it will enable all of the cores on your PC and it will be running all fine. After that, I want you all to close your FPS pack. Next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to two options and then go down to video here make sure that your display mode is set to full screen monitor should be your native monitor resolution and aspect ratio should be your native monitor aspect ratio and resolution right being that you'll find graphic settings for picture framing you guys have to go for full screen field of view should be set to 100 vertical sync should be off Frame rate limit should be set to 1000. Motion blur should be set to off. Chromatic aberration off. Sharpening 50. Filmic grain go with somewhere between 10 to 15. Lowering this value will help you to improve your FPS. Depth of field off. Depth of field anti-aliasing off. Then come down to graphics quality. Here texture pool size you have to go with low. Shadow quality low. Decal rendering distance low. Global illumination quality low, reflection quality low, motion blur quality low, water quality low, volumetric quality low, hair quality low, anisotropic filtering quality go with medium. Once that is done, you have to go down to advanced video settings and over here you'll find vegetation animation quality go with medium or off upscaling should be set to dlss if that is available for your pc or amd fsr if that is available for your graphic card dlss super resolution should be set to quality performance metrics you can enable if you want to see fps on your screen but i would say go with off and once that is done you can go back and head into your game for the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave like and smash the subscribe button shout out to channel members who have got the membership and are supporting me we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out